this is my favorite thing to do, which is talk about storytelling and animation and why this stuff, why we find this stuff so fascinating. This is the kind of thing I love. I know that most people here know me as a voice actor, but I'm not going to talk about voice acting today. Today I'm going to talk about the stories. For me, it always goes back to the stories and the stuff that so captivates us and why we need to watch these stories over and over again. Trust me, this is the cool stuff. This is where I unpack why we love this stuff so much, and this is why I explain why you dress up as the characters. I wanted to talk about why these anime stories uh, appeal to us on such a deep level. And for me, I found what was fascinating about them was the mythology behind them. And like the phoenix that rises from the ashes, this is something that's supposed to go on inside of you. Because it's very hard to show an internal struggle of your synapses in your brain on the screen. It's much easier to embody it in characters who have to battle it out. But if you think it's just this external battle, that's not it. The deeper lesson underneath it is that this is an internal psychological struggle that's going on in you. An internal awakening and enlightenment that you need to go through. He came to uh, the Minneapolis College of Art and Design's annual conference, Schoolgirls in Mobile Suits, and he does not give a talk. He gives a performance. The students are eating out of his hands. And what's amazing is the presentation he's doing up there. It's like magic. The video, the audio, the pictures, everything is seamless. It was every professor's dream lecture. <laughs> what, we, what we wish we could do. Now it's your turn. You're going to get to see one of his performances and see how he possibly changes your life. In my first anime mythology presentation, I talk about why Americans write about superheroes and the Japanese write about giant robots. In my Knights and Dragons performance, I discuss the differences between Western and Eastern dragons and the different relationships that humans have with them. In Mystics, Priestesses, and Warrior Women, I outline female hero journeys in American and Japanese animation. I also compare and contrast the princess with the magical girl. Oh, it's fantastic. My God, when is the next class? Can I please get into it? Don't think about it, just come. Whoa. <laughs> That's it. He's very thorough, but at the same time, he's very approachable. You gotta come, man. For me, this was just a great journey. He's like Professor Crispin. I explain it all. I have all the answers. My whole perspective has changed. <laughs>